Hey guys, Jeff here, Dice Setters. I was at Ellis Island for the uh, weekend, saw F1, thought it was fantastic. Um, when I go back, I'm going to ask certain people if it was profitable for them or not. Um, I'm looking at the internet and uh, they're saying no, but I just can't imagine that being the case with 350,000 people. So I'm going to show you how I roll at Ellis. Um, and the table is going to be the one closest to the karaoke bar. 15 on the pass line. It is a $5 table most of the time. Five for the dealers. Small tall for me, small tall for them. We're in a hot big red for six. Dollar on two. Two dollars on three. One dollar on midnight. Five. When you roll, you want to be out there. If you hop over the table, you're throwing them too high in the air. We lose our sevens. We mark our five. We're doing the Iron Cross. I'm not going to place odds. I'm just going to do it that way. I don't want to make a mistake not paying myself correctly. And then everyone goes, oh, you didn't pay yourself correctly. And I don't want that. It's going to be a 10. Ten down there on the end. Pay ourselves. Midnight. This guy here pays double. Midnight. This guy there pays double. There goes one we didn't want to see. Try it again. Three there, one there. Let's get some change going. Big red, 
Toss them all for us. Toss them all for them. Puck is off. I didn't do uh, the horn thing. My crap check. That was four dollars. I'll go ahead and put it in there because it should have been in there. Four dollar. Uh, four dollar. Four. The market. We lost this. And we'll put a quarter into that. See if we can go a little further this time. Ten. Every roll, you should be collecting money. If you're not collecting money, there's no possible way for you to win. Imagine, if you will, a slot machine that every spin you win something versus a slot machine that every five spins you win something. Which slot machine would you go to? Again, um, this guy here covers your pass line. If I knew I was dead on, I would sit there and put odds on there. But right now, I'm just trying to make a video for you guys. Eight. We're going to lose that quarter. Put that quarter back up. Eight. Twenty one is thirty five. And now we want to press it up once. Rule of thumb that I do for what I'm doing right now, iron cross, is this is going to be either 25 or 20, because those are 25 or 30. After you've pressed them up once by landing on it and going up one, you can go up one on this, making it 30. You don't ever want this to be more. But it just depends on going. What kind of numbers are you rolling? Are you rolling filled numbers or are you rolling five, six, eight? Most of the time I'm heavy on eight. I don't know why. Yo.
Yeah. Hard 10 this time. The first time it's been a hard 10. Most times I've been. Uh, 6 and 4, I believe. Take our field down, put one up there for the dealers. We're doing our, oops, I rolled a seven. And we'll do uh, midnight, two, and two for three. All that's doing because I'm going to get paid here, is it's protecting my, my bonus. That's all it does. Eight, hard eight. All I need is a midnight, and I'd have my tall. And they're one to seven. As soon as they split, I knew for sure that's what happened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course, this is not Ellis's table. I'm showing you what I do for Ellis's table. Um, I lost this, this, and that. One, two, three, four. Five. Um, came up even. Most of the time I would sit there and have uh, one away from tall, small, and then I'd hit one or the other, but I could never get both at the same time. That's how come I don't put money for both. But of course, the moment I sit there and do it, then I would wish I had to put money on both. But so far, I have not been that lucky to hit both at the same time with their new layout. But I would imagine uh, it's all about concentration. It's all about knowing where your dice are going to land, what's going to happen to them. Um, if they split, man, you just kind of cringe because you know what's going to happen. But that's how I've been winning um, at Ellis. And that is the table right next to the karaoke. The one by the square bar that used to be the $5 table all the time. I cannot figure out a pattern for that. I'll throw good, and then the next time it's just bad, so I'll retry it, and it's bad. So then I'm like, oh, well, maybe I need to change my dice set, and finally I just give up. I just go to the table I know that I can conquer, and you do have a slip-up here and there, but everyone's going to have a slip-up here and there. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, I will be uh, spending Thanksgiving at Ellis Island. So if you want to be in Vegas for Thanksgiving, you want to shoot some uh, dice, let me know. It's dicesetters at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.